once saw a deeply disturbing documentary that featured people who were radically changing their appearances. One man was in the process of having his entire body tattooed with reptilian scales. He gazed at the camera through contacts that made his eyes dark reflective slits. His tongue was forked due to quote-unquote cosmetic surgery. Somewhere he'd found a dentist who agreed to file his teeth into fangs. A woman on the show had implants beneath her upper lip, giving her a cat-like mouth, and a plastic surgeon was adding nylon whiskers to her self-deception. Chameleon and Cat both believed they were becoming something new. They called the process evolution. Before and after pictures were heartbreaking. Some father's beautiful little girl turned sideshow lioness, a handsome young man with perfect teeth, now a hideous, lisping reptile. I felt a deep sense of sadness and sympathy for the subjects of the show. I remember wondering, how much do you have to hate yourself to so want to eradicate your identity? This is society untethered from its creator and his good purposes. No reasoning source for our universe means no ultimate purpose or direction. Man separated from his creator, man void of an owner's manual, may be interpreted according to any whim. Who dare define me? Why two sexes? Why not eight or eighty or eight hundred? Near the end of the 19th century, poet William Henley penned these now famous lines. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. The poem is a rejection of all but natural realities. The verses spurn the biblical teaching of judgment and, sadly, salvation. But Henley's mastery and self-determination go out the philosophical window if he is wrong about just one question. Is there a God? The same holds true for the autonomy of our age. If God exists, our first life pursuit should be to know him and to embrace his design for our lives. This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches. But let him who boasts boast about this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord.